Hello sweet friends and welcome to my channel Crafting with me in Deanny Jones. Today I'm bringing a little bit of Summerween magic to this video. What is Summerween is when we bring a little bit of Halloween to our summertime. Today I'm working on a spellbook junk journal for Halloween. If this is your first time here, I have to warn you, I have two wonderful little kitty cats that help me out with my crafting. We're going to start by making some homemade paper. Now, it's not the long version that you're used to seeing where you have to tear paper apart and create your own pulp. This is a faster version. I'm taking some dried flowers and I'm going to use a mortar and pestle to bring them down into small pieces that I can use in my homemade paper and Luna is making sure I'm using the right technique. I was very influenced by practical magic to create this junk journal for Halloween. I was so happy to be included in this wonderful collaboration celebrating Juno Ween with these lovely creators. Please make sure to check out all of these channels. So to create our homemade paper, what I'm doing is taking tea stained paper, just regular copy paper, and I'm adding a mixture of Mod Podge with a little bit of water. I just watered down the Mod Podge and I'm covering the entire sheet of paper. Again, I tea stained this ahead of time. You can tea stain it or you can lightly paint it. Whatever you want to do with your paper, you can do this at this point. Now, I'm adding my mixture of dried flowers. I have lavender and rose petals, making it very organic and very, I don't know, cool looking. I love this, this process because I've always loved the look of those organic homemade papers, but they're so expensive and so time consuming. So. I found out how to create this in a much shorter version and I will be including the person that inspired me in the description of this video. I'm adding some thread and as you can see I have Kuru, my little black cat, my magical little black cat, helping me out in this part. You can add spices, you can add um, pieces of fabric, anything you like and just make sure that the paper is still wet from the Mod Podge water mixture. So once this is all done, I'm going to cover it. Now you can cover it with tissue paper or with napkin paper. I'm going to show you the two different versions. Now with the tissue paper, this is just regular tissue paper that you can have on hand. And just make sure you cover the whole piece of paper because that's going to hold in all of that lovely, you know, all those petals, everything. But because the tissue paper is see-through and once you wet it with the Mod Podge mixture again, you will be able to see all of those wonderful elements that you added just before. Now here's another version and what I did here was I painted the paper instead of, you know, tea, tea dyeing it. I'm just, you know, using a little bit of paint to dye it, a little bit of orange paint. And then I'm going to use a wet uh, paintbrush and just, you know, just brush over it and you can see the wonderful strokes and it just gives it another look to any kind of paper that you have. And once again, I'm going to cover that with the Mod Podge and water mixture. And again, you can have Mod Podge or it can be PVA glue or Elmer's glue, any kind of glue. And for this, I'm using spices and I'm using the ply, one of the plies of a two ply napkin, the blank ply. And I'm using that with the Mod Podge water glue mixture. And again, you can create all different types of homemade, very exclusive papers for your journaling. Now, just like magic, we're going to take trash and make it into a treasured spell book. All I'm doing here is using a cereal box. I'm trying to use as, as few materials as necessary. Now, if you'll notice, I am in a different location when I'm filming this. Yes, dear friends, I was on vacation and I continued crafting and filming just for you. This is why I created this summertime a junk Halloween journal. This is the only way I could think of it because it was something that I could carry along with me and make it part of my you know, vacation, I guess. And I really enjoyed every night coming back to the hotel room and having this project to look forward to. So taking the cereal box and whatever kind of cardboard I could find in, in the hotel or asking, you know, the hotel clerks, hey, do you have any uh, cardboard for this or that or the other? Uh, yeah, 
that's how I got this stuff because I needed to reinforce the cover and the back cover of my spell book and it was easily done with some glue and here I am now adding some Mod Podge so that I can cover the inside of my book successfully. Again, this is so much fun to do, especially as a summertime project. Imagine if you started creating your own summertime spellbook journal during the summer and then when Halloween actually comes, when the season actually comes, you can start journaling in your book and just start adding items as you find them. You're not going to be able to find a lot of Halloween items in the store, so I thought this would be a great idea, a great alternative of what you can do. These papers I found at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, either one, you can find something similar. There are so many wonderful papers that are vintage, that are dark and elegant like that one that looks like lace on black fabric now to do the outside of my cover again i'm going to use some scrapbooking paper and i'm also going to use some of the paper that i created i particularly wanted to make sure that i use some of that homemade paper for my cover because i thought it would make it look more vintage and older as you can see i have the scrapbook paper on the back and on the spine but that will change and it won't look like that by the end of this video. And there you can see this wonderful paper. I have some gold flecks in there. I have mustard seeds. I have all different types of herbs and flowers on that paper and it just works so well to make it look really vintagey and kind of spooky and something that, you know, a witch might have in her home as part of her spell book. Now to create the binding i am just using this wonderful ivy i guess it's a vine time uh, i i don't know what to call it it's you know it's uh yeah it's got it's a vine it's got twine it's a twine vine i've said that before and i always get confused but yeah it's a twine vine and i love it i think it's absolutely perfect to decorate the outside of this book it's very much a cottage core kind of forest fairy witch kind of book it's not like spooky yuki you know i'm not spooky yuki you guys know this i like spooky cute spoopy whatever you want to call it cutesy spooky that kind of thing so you'll never see you know anything too grotesque or anything and especially for summertime i thought it would have a lot of natural elements after all i think to prepare for halloween you have to take advantage of all the wondrous items that are in you know, in nature out during the summertime. When I tell you that I created all my pages before I left on vacation and I packed them as well as my bathing suit and everything, it tells you everything about what kind of a crafter I am. Now, in my, <laughs> while I'm creating my journal pages, in my um, stash of my computer, my laptop, I actually found this old business card and I said, how incredibly perfect is this? Because I thought it would be cool to, as the first thing inside of my cover, before of my pages, that I identify who this book belongs to. And it belongs to this little witch right here. That's it, right there. I have a, I had these papers which were wonderful from Timu and I thought this was just the perfect placard to have at the front of my little Halloween journal. Now I thought it would be really cool to use an envelope in the front of my journal as well simply because it would be nice to stash little ideas and thoughts and plans maybe for all of my crafting for Halloween. I can use this junk journal and just start planning some of my ideas. Of course, this is supposed to be a spell book, but between you and me, this is gonna be a planning book for Halloween, possibly. As as planning goes, you know, I'm not very good at it, but you know, as I get ideas for Halloween or I see pictures, I can put them here in my journal book. I think it's wonderful so I can cast a spell and enchant you all with Halloween ideas for the Halloween spooky season coming up soon. I can't believe it's very close. We're beyond the halfway point already. So from my stash I just took this little envelope that happened to be 
perfect beigey color and I again closed it up and opened the top of it so it would be easy for me to save things. Now I'm just using one of my stamps and aging the sides of it just to make sure that it matches the whole you know unique feel and old vintagey feel of this journal and one of the easiest ways to do that with any kind of paper is just rip it. Make sure you rip the sides and the edges and it just gives it such a different look and again doing the aging on edges so nothing looks brand new makes such a difference and really adds to the whole feeling of your project it just takes a moment and i did do some stamping all on the front of that envelope as well just to give it some more aging and again you can tea stain it or you can use stamps or you can use watered down paint whatever is easiest and best for you and now all i'm going to do is glue that placard right there in the inside cover of my journal so everyone knows who this belongs to Next, I'm adding some laces on the edges of not only my inside cover, but you'll notice that there are laces all throughout my journal pages. It's such an easy way to embellish your journal book. Now to attach the pages to the journal, all I did was use some hot glue and attach each page one by one to the spine. I did it by folding over like a quarter of an inch of the page and did them from the back to the front so that the first page you wouldn't see the attachment of the page itself. But there you can see all the wonderful different pages that I created with my homemade um, technique that's so much easier than having to do with the pulp and everything else. And look, it has the same effect. Now, here is my list for a magical Halloween. Leaves of gold and red, a broom to fly on the wind, a witch's hat, the fruits of the season, black cats, scary ghost stories, the wonders of nature's spells, and witch's brew, harvest full moon, and tricks and treats. And all of that goes right there in the front pouch of my cover. Now, I'm going to create more pockets and envelopes in which to create my journals. I like to have pockets in a journal because that way it makes it easy to keep little tidbits of things that I might find in my journeys and especially on our journey as we get closer and closer to Halloween. I am so blessed that I received this beautiful paper from Grabby. I have all my papers have come either from Grabby or Timu. So I'm very, very happy to continue to promote both of these sponsors who've given me these papers in the past. Again, I'm using a lot of the envelopes that I already had on hand to create pockets for my journal. I think a journal with pockets is one of the very, very best. And using an envelope is so inexpensive and so easy to include in your journal. It's so cool to have these little pages where you can add your own little embellishments or keep ideas for other projects in the future, especially getting closer to Halloween. Now using book pages is a fantastic idea and since my resources were short I had to use what I had on hand to color in these beautiful little leaves that I cut out of these book pages. Now I did have my stamps on hand but I also had this wonderful fall palette of eyeshadows which worked wonderfully to add a little bit of color and a little bit of sparkle to these book page leaves that I will use on one of my journal pages. As you create your journal pages, again, it's completely up to you. It's very personalized and very, very different from one person to the other. I'm adding little pages where I can write ideas or thoughts or even a little bit of a poem here and there and also having pockets so that I can include any kind of thoughts and any kind of clippings or leaves even. So this one page I dedicated to autumn and autumn leaves because I think that is so important to really celebrate the beauty of Halloween and the spooky season. For another page that you'll see here, I created my own little moon, just taking some scrapbook paper, coloring it as I've, as you've seen before, using stamps, using eyeshadow, and now I'm going to create my own little miniature broom 
for my journal because I mean after all if this is going to be a witch's book a spell book I think she would have instructions on how to create a broom if you see a little black paw that is Guru helping me with this magical page for my journal all I did here was use a branch that I found on the road <laughs> right in front of the hotel and I did happen to have some raffia on hand which was perfect and there you can see a beautiful magical flying broom as part of my journal i think junk journaling is so much fun this is only my second time junk journaling and i just thought creating a very unique specialized spell book that doesn't come from any kind of movie or anything like that would be very very special here I'm journaling, building a broom. Thou needest a strong and sturdy stick from an heirloom tree of thy ancestral home. Gather ye summer straw to lift it in green and let it dry in the heat of the sun. Find ye some blessed rope and bind the broom with honey and enchant it to fly. Okay, so I totally made that up because I wish I knew how I could make a broom fly because, man, that would save so much time in traffic. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to include that in my little spell book journal for Halloween. Now, there are so many different ways that you can find to journal in your own little spell book and create any kind of little pockets or notes, anything you like. Again, this is personalized and specialized just for you and what you like to include as part of your Halloween spellbook journaling. Get creative with your journal pages. I dedicated them to different things like nature and spells and potions. This one I decided to create a cute little cauldron because I thought that was important for a witch to have. Now I didn't have plain black paper so you can see there's a little something there in the corner but I get rid of that little decoration now what i did with the cauldron is i left it open it i created a pocket so that i could enter little spells into my little cauldron and you'll see that in just a moment Every interesting spell book has an interesting spell book cover. So for my junk journal, I made sure to create a notable spell book cover using this gate or door. I created this with foam clay and you know how much I love foam clay simply because it's lightweight, it won't crack, it's not brittle and it's perfect to create a doorway for your spell book. Now I did see that IOD has a beautiful um, like fairy doors. They have a beautiful mold for fairy doors, but you can create your own with foam clay. And all I'm doing here is using some watered down black paint and just wiping off the excess as you saw there. Now to add a little bit of shimmer, I used my eyeshadow once again. And there's little Luna's cute little dark ears as I try to age this um the cover of course again with some watered down black paint i did mix a little bit of my eyeshadow into that paint as well so it would have a little more shimmer i like a little shimmer a little, little glitter never hurt anyone and i think it's very magical looking next i'm embellishing the corners with these stickers that i found at the dollar tree there were these sticker packs that were perfect that had these uh like love potion almost labels and also one that had an actual door so if you don't want to make your own door they have a sticker pack that includes like a fairy door and that little round that you see at the top of my cover is directly from that sticker pack all i'm using now is some hot glue to affix the door to my cover and i should be done with the cover of my magical spell book journal for halloween now i needed a closure so i created one using a button and th this jewelry embellishment it's just some tin embellishment that i had in my stash that i brought with me on vacation yes i am creating this in three different hotels that i had stayed in i brought my little journal with me to create it so there you can see i put the same embellishment in the back and in the front of my cover so all i need is some twine or some very thin ribbon and that's it i have my closure for my junk journal 
Last but not least, I am using this wonderful pen that has a bit of a glitter to it. And it's great because I don't have to carry glitter with me. And it's just like a glitter pen. And I'm adding, um, I, I did add some glitter to those windows at the top with some glue, with some clear glue. And it worked out just fine. But as you can see, I brought a very small bottle of glitter with me on my trip so that I wouldn't make a glittery mess all over the place. Now to make it even more realistic, we're adding some wonderful green moss. This is some moss that, again, I found at the Dollar Tree and this was a different type of moss that I hadn't seen before and it was perfect because it looked like little trees that were growing alongside of that wonderful book cover door. I think it's perfect for the kind of spell book that I'm looking for. I didn't go step by step with every single page in this journal because it would be a two hour video, but here is a final reveal of each of every page of this junk journal for Halloween. Now let's take a look at this junk journal page by page. Here's the cover as you just saw we created. The inset of my book on the cover, you can see who is the witch that belongs to this spell book. The first page I dedicated to fall and the colors of the leaves. And I have some moments that I just recorded in some stanzas. The next page is to familiars or to our little pets, including my little black cat, Guru. And there you can see how I created an old fashioned looking pocket just using two buttons and some twine. This page I thought would be great for ghosts recording these beautiful items that I found in an antique store, including this little stanza from a card and this beautiful black and white picture of a mother holding her baby. I also included a little vial of salt with a little bit of glitter because as you know, salt um, eliminates or it's keeps the evil spirits away from what I recall. And again, here is the back page of that ghost story. And I started writing a little bit of about a, a ghost, um, little apparitions, but mostly some items that I found in an antique store. And there's my little cauldron. And of course, the spells are only cast with good intent. This is a good witch, so she does not cast any kind of evil spells. And, um, I just thought it was cute to make little flames or smoke from the paper that I had available to me. And again, that had that side pocket with that very interesting paper from Grabby. Again, all the items that I have here either thrifted, what I had around the house, or from Grabby and Timu. There's my witch's broom page. And again, there's the suggestions of how to build a witch's broom. Again, another little tiny vial with some herbs or some flowers and this one is the potion page i thought it would be cool to have a little potion page and next we have the wonders of nature which i just had like moths and bats and anything that i found that i thought would be interesting and part of nature that um, including some dried flowers that i collected during my vacation here Next, I always thought cooking and baking was magical. It's like a science. So here I have a little baking and cooking page, which I will record some of my favorite Halloween recipes. And last but not least, one that's dedicated to a cute little jack-o'-lantern. And again, I created this as a pocket to include some other thoughts and ideas for Halloween. And then that little plastic box page it's a little plastic box that had chocolates and I just used it to store more papers. And again, the back page has this beautiful envelope with space to create um, more notes or to store anything that I collect along the way as we prepare for Halloween. So I think this is a nice little junk journal, my first Halloween junk journal, and I think it's perfect as a spell book. So I hope you try to create your own junk journal spell book for Halloween this year. Once again, I want to thank these lovely ladies for including me in this Juno Ween collaboration. And this is Jackie of Crafting in Mimi's World, Ellie from DIY from House to Home, and Shannon of 
hot mess crafting. All these lovely ladies are fantastic at crafting and I can't wait to share with you all the ideas they have for Halloween this year. So please check out the playlist in the link below. Thank you all once again for joining me in this summertime adventure to celebrate Summerween. I hope to see you back during Halloween. And if you enjoyed this, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, stay safe, be kind. God bless each and every one of you. And remember to live the adventure.